be in it. How rare is what's going to happen April 8th? Yeah, we've been a little bit spoiled because we had the one back in 2017 and then we've got this one in 2024 and it kind of has people starting to think, you know, well, you know, maybe this isn't all that rare and spectacular of a thing. Um, we have been lucky that they've been seven years apart. Um, if you didn't want to have to travel that much, and in particular for Southeast Indiana, if you didn't want to have to travel at all, you're going to be waiting decades in order to be able to see a total solar eclipse from your home again. Um, the next one that's going to cross the United States would be 2045. Um, and even that one won't be available. Uh, totality won't be available for Southeast Indiana. You'd have to travel either out west or down south. Um, and then after that, you're going to be waiting until like 2099. And so that's quite a bit of time in between total solar eclipses um, if you're just staying in one place, right? If you're willing to travel, you can always uh, manage to find one every, uh, every year, maybe every couple of years. Um, but if you're staying put, you're going to have to be waiting a long, long, long time. <laughs>